Alright guys, yeah. Somebody named Mike here and yeah, this is probably one of the videos that, that is mostly requested. And considering I was kinda busy, I am now prepared to actually review it. But I need to actually just to show you a little quick tutorial, not gonna show you whole thing or then I'm gonna end it and it's gonna take a while. So let me just show you what I've actually done. So just before we go to the Holy Grail of the MacGuffins, I'm gonna start off with Rodan. And yes, this is the SH Monsters 2019 version. What did I change? Well, if you can see, these wings has now been flame. Well, not all of them, but it has been flame. And what I actually did is pretty simple. I used a little bit of one of these real touch effect parts, effect pencils, and literally Gundam markers that you can apply to your Gundams. But not only that, I used something that is literally called well, let regular markers for pure Gumpla. And considering these are actually more closely to Bandai, it's actually accessible to actually paint them, paint them even if it's not a Gundam. Considering both are kind of plastic and both are kind of PVC, but this actually works with these kind of paints too. But. Uh, so yeah, you can use regular acrylic, sort of like one of these, and maybe panel line it with the real touch, but it will take time, and I don't have no time to actually showcasing it, but I'm just going to showcasing my overall uh, painting experience. Technical difficulties. Alright, I have no clue what just happened, but from my experience, I believe the rubber thing kind of popped out, but uh, yeah, no time to actually look it up. Uh, look it through, so uh, let's continue. And yes, I have a coverage for my phone, so don't worry. So here's the front. My idea was to actually pen line all the extender of the wings like it was uh, sort of been flame but not too extended and again you, it's your opinion if you want it to completely magnified so, like in the film which actually was like some like minutes in the film I just don't want the appearance of the final scene where he just begged for Godzilla begged for the king kind of sequence but nothing changed at all everything is regular even also the tail fin yeah you just painted this with well metallic red a little bit of yellow and with real touch orange and boom Rodan next up his um, opponent Mothra. I don't know about you, but I think I can end it. Yes, yeah, she was kind of a little bit white, but also this color too. So uh, don't judge me in the comment. This is what actually I actually found out in the uh, the photos I actually found and kind of the scenes in the film. Even though her kind of hair was a little bit, those little hair fins on top of her head is not just white, but Kind of mostly gray, and I kind of screwed up with the long man was here, but eh, simple mistake. Nothing changed overall. I mean, I guess why Ben I didn't paint the whole thing. It would have been, well, in some part, been claustrophobic and clusterfuck. So I kind of guess why. Guess why they didn't do it. And yep. I kind of used not all 
I can use the not only the yellow but also a black and a white. But I also used a little thinner pen on pen and line marker. Which I cannot find right now which because right now I'm gonna showcasing even bigger models that is more well the pen and line with bigger ones, so yeah, nothing changed at all. She's pretty much singular except she has more white fur on her body, which is most likely accurate. Even though I haven't perfected it, but sometimes it doesn't need to. It's my mode. It's my copy, so I can do whatever I want. Alright, then let's uh, move on to something that is literally, well, sort of a good figure, but also a disappointment for many reasons. 2014. Now you're probably wondering, why 2014? Well, he wasn't really a bad figure at all. And he is li literally a nice one. But the issue was, well, considering of the... Uh, I can get a focus is most likely the red on his face which looks like he has been bleeding or as Javi the Hong said been eating some muto pot but uh, and the whites were everywhere so I turned it on with a little bit of this black and used a little little bit of the topsy do that's what I'm gonna call it, the Topsy Do, and just smear it a little bit. And then add a little bit white, but then I had to separate a little bit to, um, and carefully add a little bit. And the result, if I can get this camera to focus, 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 focus. Oh, there we go. Well, maybe not perfect, but at least I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And yes, I also added a little bit of a thinner panel line marker and touch it up a little bit with the eye. And what I also did was I used a little tool, which is this um, kind of panel line, this kind of um, sharp knife. You know, when you actually slice up the paper. You know, line, line knife, whatever it's called, but a sharp knife. This kind of a little tool to actually ship off the little paint that was literally on his a little bit under the his lenses, which uh, made him a little bit goofy. But now he's kind of facing forward and looking fine. Not perfect, but fine. So that's that. Next up, the inevitable Thanos. And what I actually did was, well, not too much, but I actually added something that was more accurate to the film. For starters, the black, the black paint that is, uh, the black spot that is actually on his uh, armor. And a little bit of black paint on his shoulders. So you gotta kind of get this movie accurate, or screen accuracy, even though this is probably not movie accurate at all. Should have been a little bit shorter, but oh well. I like it. I used you too. And also did a little bit panel lining on the gauntlet for more shadowing. I mean, I could have used a little bit more touch, but I really like the shiny arm armor. And if you're wondering, no, I did not change anything on the blade. I'm just gonna wait till I get an upgrade kit for it. For this Thanos. And for Thanos overall, nothing done, nothing changes on his face or something like that. Oh yeah, if I actually screwed up something, use a little bit of a gold panel line. Yep, these exist. So don't worry. It's like it, there's no mistake at all, even though there's but but makes him look like battle damage. A little bit. I will stop. Yep, Shin Godzilla. 
And you're probably wondering, well, is dark like in his toy, like in the figure? So what's the change? Well, if you don't see right here, I mean the camera don't pick up, but if you see closely, closely, this is kind of a crimson red. I mean, it's some kind of accuracy, but it's too, well, dark it, and it's not glowy at all. Which is kind of accurate, yes and no, I mean, a little bit, but he was much glowy in the film. Which kind of make everyone a little bit pissed off that it wasn't totally red. But you know what? What about my? And yes, I painted it crazy metallic red. Did not hold back. I mean, look at this. And yes, this is not a properly review, so don't worry. You're not missing anything. I'm just going to show you, well, before and after. So, and give you an opinion what you think is better. The original or uh, the original paint name, paint scheme or mine. Yes, it's body, but it's my attention. I want him to be more accurate with his look give him more the god incarnate the inevitable bold god yes even Thanos it, it's actually in the in the card game that you can actually download free it's a sponsor that you actually can look up in the in YouTube forgot what it's called the game is called but maybe when I come back with the review I will Literally find the what's called, but yeah, Shin Godzilla. Nothing changed. Maybe add a little bit more paint, but out of all, my copy is fine. I kind of broke a little bit of this sort of piece. Yeah, sorry, Shin. Please do not kill me. But dun 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 dun. Oops. Yes. We're now taking a look at my, oops, that is literally my copy is popping out. I mean, it is secure, but if you just touch it, it's kind of fall down. But it's kind of my issue, my issue, not every copy. But yeah, here we have the Shinagawa Final Battle version of Kiryu. What's changed? Well, for starters, you may not think it's actually changed at all. Right? I mean, the shadowing is there, and the overall paint is literally, well, flawless, so what's changed? Well, a flipping coin just fell down for some goddamn reason. But we're not gonna take a look at the coins, we're gonna take a look at the figures, so, uh, what's changed? Well... If you look closely in my camera, you will see black paint, aka black markers, that I added, and some smaller pen lining action. Why? Well, if you look at the uh, actual images of Kirio in film and games and such, you will find that Kirio has a lot of black spots over over all, all all over the figures well inner grill and some areas that actually have black spots which this figure sometimes has it but also kind of skip so yeah I kind of add a little bit of curious detail overall nothing too crazy of this SS monsters and also if you have some issue with well a little bit of paint bleed just be careful add some tape that covers the whole figure and just a little bit of panel line let me show you if you see here just gonna... all right just add a little bit there we go oops a little bit of pain but that's all right now is a good time to show you the shading. Oops. Um, 
you can also wash up with this figure a little bit. May not be perfect, but hey, at least it's something. Gonna wash it up a little bit. So, and if it's a mistake that I do not want to have left, can I add a little bit of this? Kind of add a little bit. Pew, pew, pew. Boom. Kind of a fault to actually add it while panel lining, but let the expert do it. I, just, I recommend you to just let it dry first, then do it. But for me, just because I have a review to do, this is a kind of an easy way. So, here's a fix. And kind of how you can color line with, with a key. What was it called? Uh, tips and tricks. That's right. And that's how you can, well, customize a little bit of Kiryu, not too intense. I mean, if you want the grill to be just silver, that's up to you. This is my copy overall. So, is, oh yeah, if you want to review, it's actually in the comments. I mean, it's not that difficult, alright? <laughs> I mean, what do, you, what do I look like? I'm mediocre? Actually, I am. Okay. Before we go to the bigger event, I had to make a confession. I have some Mattel figures, but I did not like how all of them kind of skip on the paint. So, uh, some of them, like blue, the one that actually has an action when you bring it down. Hell yeah. And then we have the Metria Camphosaurus. Actually, what was it meant? A Pansosaurus? Oh god, I'm gonna be roasted. Oh god. No, Metria Cantosaurus, the one with the longer word, so. Massachusetts? Mephicant? Hold on, I need to check. Monolophosaurus, sorry, I had to check. Got some uh, packaging down, but yeah, skip them. Just ignore them. So, what did I do? Well, there's some tricks about shading a little bit. Actually, did the pupils a little bit more black and... Well, some, like I said, not perfect. Like this camera that won't focus. There we go. Did a little bit of shading, kind of bloody confusing, but at least it's something. Doesn't look boring, but kind of weird. But hey, at least it looks neat. Nothing done with the ribs. But I painted the claws and the toes. And for blue, as I did for. The Metria, the Monolophosaurus, Klaus has been painted. But that's not all. Rexy has been painted as well. And what has been painted? Well, her little fourth claw on her well, side of the feet, her claws on the fingers has been painted as well. But most importantly, her teeth. And the eye. And I know what you're gonna think. What the hell happened to Rexy? Well, I tried to do more movie accurate eyes, but I think I kind of made her a little bit big eyed dinosaur, but she has more iris in her eye, so I want her to be more lively than just plain boring. I know that the uh, well, Beaver's copy that he now that he got from the mail is kind of a masterpiece level 
This one, uh, not that much, but at least it's something. Oh yeah, one thing that uh, I did a little bit of change a long time ago, that I did it for the good, for the greater good. I ripped up the tongue and placed it there because I hate it when it stick out. To look like a, it's like saying "What's that?" and the tongue stick out. It's just wrong. So the tongue is now on the lower jaw. On the jaw right now. Just stuck. But at least she can do a motion when she is roaring. That's cool. What more did I change? Um, well, nothing that much. Nothing that much at all. Oh well. Well, speaking of Rexy, I did something that's mostly what I did an update, a uh, tutorial of this Rex, the Red T-Rex, which I painted a little bit on the, well, same as uh, Rexy, but nothing has changed. But I did add some more paint, so it looks more beautiful. God damn it. Oh, at least I didn't post. You know what? Considering you are trying to screw up this recording section, I'm gonna move you out of the way. So, Rexy, you're pretty much done. Now we come to the bigger events. Godzilla 2014, actually. What's more? The priciest or the... The heaviest. Let's go for the heaviest. The 2014 because it's first. So what did I do? Added pupils. Yep. I added pupils on this Godzilla. It's better than having a crocodile eyes to be in fact. And yes, nothing changed but something that jumped the home is there is double ball joint on the neck. Why? Well I checked. There is evidently a double bow joint on his neck. Yes, Yobby, if you see this, maybe you should have double check your um, review on what you have missed. And now for the grand finale. And honorable mentions Gundams. But now. Hanya. King Ghidorah, why am I singing? I don't know. At least I sing better than. I don't know if I sing better than Stephen Toe's reviews, but at least he can agree that he can't sing. So, what's the changes? Look at the throat. Silver, 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 and then boom! Kevin's head! And what does Kevin have? Come on. There we go. What I added is some little bit more black on the nose. I added silver on his horns and the spikes. I added some more detail to this Ghidorah than ever than anything I could do. And of course on his back spikes. And did I do something more? Um hold on. Ah. All right. So, anyone who's wondering, did God King Ghidorah have any gold on him? Well, sort of. Well, mostly. Well, pretty much yes, but most likely, perhaps. Actually, it did, but it's more darker tone like this, but not changing enough. So, I kind of did a panel lining. But she did a shade a little bit, so now it, this wing is a little bit more shiny. Just wanted to show you before I actually customize this. If you think it's a kind of a good start, if you want me to continue it, leave me a comment.
And I'm going to finish off with the tail. And yes, I did add some silver to this tail. And boy, does it look good. This is the tail we saw in the film. Silver spikes on this clubby tail. And something fell down, but at least blue is fine. So yeah. One thing I do realize that uh, should be uh, noticeable. His feet should have been changed. Considering the feet uh, should actually face there and be more bulkier. Actually, it's most likely his snout. I mean, it should have been a little bit longer and a little bit more, more movie accurate. But considering this is a concept design, a com early CGI model, so it's kind of understandable. But I don't hate it. I mean, if you want it more accurate, go for the statue that costs a fucking. Something that will sell your goddamn lungs and organs. But this is my holy grail. And it is awesome. And I did a review of this three headed dragon, a three headed alien dragon. So if you want a proper review, I did it for you. So that was my quick tutorial. If you want more, and more, a little bit. Um, Kind of uh, tips and tricks. Well, go for Jabba the Hong. He did uh, well. He and who has actually got from another reviewer a uh, tip that added a little bit of sponge. Actually, have a little bit of pencil, added some acrylic paint, but also adding paper to brush out all the paint to leaving a few, few. Um, actually, what I'm saying is that you should actually. Wash out the paint from the brush to leave small, small particles of the paint, and then your dry brush to give it more effect, which I will do later on. Actually, let's see if this works. Holy crap! You might not see this, but I am adding some paint. Sort of. My chance is actually using the acrylic. I kind of use the panel. I'm okay. I need to stop now. Nah.